Ladies, gentlemen, after the review of US markets by Paul Joscow, I will do for you the review of the EU from the same handbook on electricity markets. Of course, EU is EU, we are not the US. EU is not a federal country like US or Canada. It has no very strict separation between federal and local affairs. If EU member states agree, EU can both address climate and carbon pricing and build EU-wide common wholesale and retail markets, what US and Canada cannot do. EU wholesale markets are also very different from the US just presented by Paul Joscow. First, typically EU wholesale is zonal, not nodal. Second, it separates day ahead pricing from balancing in real time. Third, it takes portfolio bidding, bidder not revealing which plant we actually generate. For as this market does not do plant dispatch. EU is EU, a set of open countries. EU-wide wholesale market is more integrated than US-wide market. In EU, each country has its wholesale market implementing their minimum requirements within borders always open to cross-border trade. EU market coupling via cross-border is built on TSO, transmission system operators, calculating guaranteed capacities that the exchanges will put into their DEA trade equilibrium. Nevertheless, EU high challenges. They are planning of the grids to expand cross-border capacities and design of market bidding zones. But since 2016, Integration of EU wholesale markets went beyond intraday stage. EU embarked into defining EU wide network codes which harmonize intraday balancing, capacity calculation and allocation, congestion management, even a new EU code for flexibility and flexibility markets is starting to be discussed. While EU has no federal regulator, it created two European bodies, ESER, Gathering National Regulator, and SOE, Gathering National TSOs, with powers to create markets and network norms and rules under European Commission supervision. EU-wide retail market, too, is more integrated than US-wide market. Like for wholesale, each EU country as an obligation to implement 100% retail opening. In a second law, 2017-2019, appeared other harmonization obligations as rights to be given to prosumers, self consumption communities, aggregators. This said, EU still has substantial regional or national differences. First, always being the case for UK today out of EU, but always been an island preserved from too dense cross-border interactions. See the chapter by David Newberry. Two, also for Nordic countries where common they had wholesale market was created in Norway, not member of the EU. See chapter led by Tuel Cock. Three, another big case is capacity markets. EU failed to get support from countries to define a tight common market design. The EU practice is case by case review and authorization led by EU competition authority, not the EU Energy Administration. See chapter from Fabien Rock. EU and US seen from Australia in a wonderful chapter by Paul Simshauser. Australia does not have an integrated DEAD or retail market like the EU, but it has more than no common federal market like in the US. Australia has a real-time energy-only common market with a very high price cap at 11,000 US dollars. It calls generators and suppliers to think twice before taking decisions which might be using real-time balancing. To end, 
The possible futures of electricity markets will be addressed in another video by Michael Pollitt. Thank you for your attention. If you read Chinese, thank you for your patience.